What's up, everyone? Happy Monday fun day. I'm about to get hit by the subway over here. We're over here in Queens today. This happens to be a uh, subway car sitting here in the park. A little bit of a museum here. Pretty cool. Up close and personal with a subway car, an old school New York City subway car. Number seven train. Check it out, check it out. Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. All right, so we're in Queens right now because I have a closing this afternoon uh, on my house uh, that I sold in Uniondale. Uh, this is a record sale for Uniondale. Uh, most expensive house sold in Uniondale as of yet. Um, so that's uh, something kind of interesting. But uh, it's so quick, one way over asking price because the market is hot. So, but um, in the process, I've been uh, hurt lately. I guess some kind of back spasm going on. I wake up in the morning, it's really kind of hard to move. And it was freezing again this morning. So I pushed off the ride, jumped on some paperwork. Then I had some meetings this morning. We're trying to get a development deal in place with some of my friends uh, to do a subdivision. Working on that this morning. And then, um, it was our message of the day. So message of the day is trust but verify. Uh, in the words of uh, President Reagan, um, the house that I'm closing today uh, over in Uniondale um, had a problem with the heating system. The heating system is brand new. Um, the system ran out of oil uh, about a week ago. We got an oil delivery. And of course, usually when you get an oil delivery, when it runs out, you have to prime the system again. Sometimes you have to change the filter because it sucks some dirt out of the tank into the filter, the filter clogs the tank up. So um, the homeowner had a plumber come over and uh, try and restart the, uh, the oil furnace. And he said it needed parts. And for some reason, parts were in back order and we couldn't get them. We were closing today and we didn't have heat. I said, you know what? I trust that this plumber that they're using knows what he's talking about, but I need to verify it. So I uh, sent my guys over. As you know, we have an HVAC company family business. So I sent one of my guys over there. And of course, the oil filter was airbound. Um, he took it apart, he primed it, got the oil up, fired right up, making heat, cycling, doing everything he's supposed to do. Um, and now we're able to close. So if I did not verify, I didn't go uh, verify that this plumber he was talking about. He obviously didn't, and he almost cost us a closing today. So, uh, when you're out in the world, if something doesn't sound right, I know we like to trust our professionals, we like to trust our government, we like to trust everyone else around us. We need to verify. We need to verify. If you know something doesn't seem right, verify it. Don't second guess yourself about verifying stuff. Uh, if someone's offering you a deal, Sounds too good to be true, verify it. If someone's offering to help, sounds good to be true, verify it. If uh, something just tells you something that doesn't seem right, verify it. Um, if I didn't verify that this plumber knew what he was doing today, he wouldn't be closing in about a half hour. So, um, here's your message of the day. Trust, but verify. Um, I like it. The words of President Reagan. Uh, in this world, we need more trust, but verify, because uh, a lot of people need to be checked right now. So. There's your message today, right here, hanging out by the subway car outside the courthouse here in Queens. My closing's in that building over there, but uh, subway car's pretty cool. So uh, let's jump on prayers. We're going to pray over here in Queens. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to know the difference between right and wrong. Help us to know when something's not right, and help us to verify those situations. Uh, help us to um, have faith and uh, the notions that you put in our gut uh, help us to follow um, our notions when we think something isn't right help us to verify that situation amen so trust but verify there's the message of the day uh, get a second opinion basically uh, something doesn't sound right get a second opinion because uh, if 
most of you like to trust the profession as much as this guy says he's a plumber and says he's a professional, says he's licensed. He didn't know simply to check the oil in the uh, line to make sure it was fine. After he knew the uh, oil burner ran on heat, he was trying to sell them, I don't know, some other parts or something. Obviously, the guy didn't know what he was doing. Good thing we trusted uh, Cody Barrow. So we didn't trust him, so we just verified. <laughs> anyway, there's a message today. Appreciate you all. Uh, my Elmont listing is coming out this week. I'm going to be sort out of posted that mother daughter Elmont, 2300 roughly square foot. Um, I'm at 799. So that'll be, uh, hopefully, open out Saturday. Okay, we'll pictures. Um, what else have we got? Belmore still available. We'll have a deal in that whole group. So that one in the water is still available. 449. And what else have we got going? Uh, we got a couple other things. Possibly an Oceanside, possibly a Rockville Center. Um, for people thinking about making a move. Now is the time. Rates are starting to creep up. And uh, quarries are still out there. Like I said, we're closing on. Uh, the house I had listed in Uniondale, this is a record sale for Uniondale. Uh, it was really hard to find comps because there was really nothing around. Uh, but we made it happen. We made it happen. And uh, we make things happen. That's why you use me and my team. Uh, as realtors, um, when your closing's about to get held up, uh, we go above and beyond to make it happen. Um, paid out of pocket. Get my guy in there. To make sure the heat works to get this house closed. Now, Dawn's on here. Dawn's Another one of my team members on here, Dawn also do, does the same. There's been a couple times where we've got closings going on and something hits the fan at the last minute. We gotta jump in there, roll our sleeves up and get something done so that we can close on a property. Um, and that's why I use this full service real estate right here. We are not your average realtors. You're looking to buy or sell a home, we're here for you. Brian Lewis with the Brian Lewis team at EXP Realty, 917-509-0506, brianlewisrealtor.com. Happy to help you guys out. All realtors are not the same. We pay for it. Have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine. I'm trying to get hit by the subway. Put your head on the pillow every night. No, you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Oh, 8.30 tonight, podcast with my buddy David Gusson. He is the founder of 516ads.com. He is the founder of the Everything Bagel. And he's also the founder of Learn. Uh, let's end all racism now. Uh, great dude. Uh, big entrepreneur. Big entrepreneur supporter, big community supporter. Uh, his favorite saying, my favorite saying, in the world where hate makes headlines, goodness needs to speak up. 8.30 p.m. tonight, live on Facebook right here. Come check it out. All right, everyone. Have a great day. See you later.